Hi. Just to make sure that we all are in the same boat. Covid is a disease and Covid-19 is a pandemic. And uh, here I- I'm going to talk about Covid-19 virus that is SARS CoV-2. This video is not giving you any special expertise that you cannot get on your own. We are actually not doing anything special. We just go through tons of scientific research material, study them rigorously, try to put them in such an order that it slips down your brain without you making any effort and your brain falls in love with this captivating information and gives you that aha moment. Just enjoy the ambience of your sofa. Candlelight will definitely add to the ambience while we serve you this educational information. There you go. We basically have three tests. First, blood tests to know about the antibodies. Antibodies that were born out of B cells to make this virus ineffective. If we test positive, we know we had this virus. But no way we can know am I still shedding this virus? I mean, am I still carrying it? I mean, am I still suffering from it? Or is it gone? And these antibodies are just those remaining ones after a tough war against this virus. Antibody test is a kind of test that you don't want to get done to check if you have infection. Since you kind of get the antibodies in your body one week to 3 weeks after the occurrence with the virus. It is a type of test which you might be asked from airlines before you board or your company just to make sure if you had this infection or not. I I I really don't know how this helps. But that's my limitation and a test got to do what a test got to do. I I like one thing about this test. If you are asymptomatic, which means uh, you have infection, but you show no symptoms. <laughs> Don't worry. You are not the only ones who are jealous of these mutants, these X-Men breed. So, if you are asymptomatic, which means you have infection but you show no symptoms at least we now know that this wolverine should be quarantined and not allowed to roam freely as he can now be carrier of this novel virus <laughs> sorry for the joke a beautiful point if you test positive for antibody test then you cannot be sure that this antibody are from the infection caused by SARS-CoV-2. There there is a good chance that these antibodies could be due to infection from different virus of the coronavirus family. And enough of antibodies testing. Now let's talk about a test which you need in urgency so that you get to meet your girlfriend who is sitting 3 flight hours away from you. And this test is enough to let you move easily. across the limitation put by police officers or squad that is responsible for stopping the spread of this epidemic this test is fast real damn fast here i'm talking about 15 30 minutes test to result time isn't that amazing aka antigen test in antigen test they put this swab up your nose and swab down your throat yes quite deep in this test basically uh, labs look for antigens in the collection sample search antigen in an antigen test wow isn't that simple right uh, um search antigen in an antigen test <laughs> okay antigen is basically that molecule which causes our immune system to react to fight antigen tests tell you about active infection in the case of sars cov2 virus this particular molecule is the nucleocapsid protein show off time guys <laughs> uh, okay uh, <laughs> antigen test is very accurate when it tells you that you are positive 
but uh, the, 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 if you have the symptoms and this test shows negative, um, you need to go for the RT-PCR test, which is the gold standard. We talk about it in some time. But why antigen test misses some positive cases? Um, in, intuitively, we can say it must be hard for the machine to detect this molecule all the time. And I don't see a point to demean this test even a bit. Look how fast it is, which is really a blessing at the time of pandemic. And it only misses 15% of the positive cases. Come on guys, it needs a standing ovation. Now comes an expert test, which with the help of sophisticated machines and algorithms, let us know we are positive or negative with a great accuracy. Similar to antigen test, in this test as well, a swab is thrusted up your nose and down your throat. RT-PCR is reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction. RT stands for reverse transcription of RNA into DNA. And PCR is a technique to detect the virus's genetic material. RT-PCR test has a better accuracy than antigen test. But a test is a test. What if even the RT-PCR is showing a negative result when you have all the symptoms? Now comes CT scan of the chest. Computed tomography scan can give you a better reading about the existence of SARS-CoV-2 virus infection. But again, it should not be used for the diagnosis in the early stages as x-rays um, they can cause harm to humans. And we are not X-Men. I really want to go into depth and talk about sensitivity and specificity of all these tests. But I think this stuff is already optimized for the concerned ones. Maybe later. Congratulations. Now you know a lot about all kind of tests for coronavirus detection. Now is the right time to take the next step and learn about the vaccinations in the second part of the series.